We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Yanni Chirinos is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The right fielder, number 16, Andrew Benintendi. He's set and the pitch. First of three is underway on this Tuesday night as the opening pitch is taken for ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, for me, I'm, I'm going to go off script here. I think one of the keys to winning this game, I get it, the pitcher has to throw strikes, the offense has to show up. But I need more energy, more focus. I need guys flying around. I need guys looking like they want to win a ball game. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Got it, second. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. Stepping in, Rafael Devers. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Batting third, the shortstop, Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogart now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 302 is the average coming in, 13 home runs, and 49 runs batted in. Line drive to left. Number 25 is there and he has it for the out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here's J.D. Martinez as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. He's set. Now the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Devers is off of first with two away. Working quickly now with the splitters in there, 0 and 2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. You know one of the things? And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Nate Valdi, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Coming to the plate now, Jose Martinez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Willie Adamas, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty, one man out. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. To the left side, but it's well foul. Here's the 2 1 home. Fouled off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now another 2 2. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter came through right there with the single, setting the table for the big boys. At the plate, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone. Two run blast to straight away right field number 10 for him on the year as the Rays move in front now two to nothing. What a way to start this one off the school is top of the frame and you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first. In now number 25. No left field. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Ranging back is Bradley. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Solo shot to right center. Number 17 for him on the season as the Rays have opened up a 3-0 lead. It's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Jima and Choi, the next to hit. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. The windup and the 0-1. Three runs already home here. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Now another one-two. 
hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Hard hit to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. On to first, and there were two down. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lau. He was one for three in the ball game back on Sunday. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And right into the shift. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Rays are out in front, three to nothing. Into the box now, Mitch Moreland. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Here's the 2 0. Looked like that swing was in slow motion, 2 1. All even now, 2 2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. He stays alive, still two and two. Lined hard toward right center. But this will be run down out there in the alley. A nice play by the center fielder for the first out. The left fielder, Clint Frazier. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Chopped to third, fielded cleanly. Throw gets him two down. That's so bases are empty here with two gone, and Michael, Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's one and zero. Oh. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Three and oh to him now. Here's the pitch. In tight as this pitch misses, and it's a four-pitch walk. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two out with the man at first. And 
this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Bradley, originally from the state of Virginia, he was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Hit hard back up the middle. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. That's off to that one. Red Sox lead one. Still down three nothing. So coming to the plate, Hunter Renfro. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Drill down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The pitch. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Yandi Diaz, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Swing and a liner. But foul. Three and two now. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. He's set. Here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runner at first here, one man out. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. He's looking a lot sharper. He's settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. Into the box, Jose Martinez, as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going.
One ball, one strike to count. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The 1-1. One, one. There's a fastball that misses. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. For short, hit hard. Bogarts has it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Digging in now, Francisco Cervelli, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First pitch coming, here it is. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Still no balls and two strikes. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Line that's a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. The right field, number 15, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, one and one. One ball, one strike. A runner at first with no outs here. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike, one and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Rip down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the play with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Here now is Rafael Devers. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Runners on first with one down. hit hard towards center and that'll get down for a base hit a lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out I know you're looking for a double play ball Dan no question about it I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in so far so good first and second looks like a big inning could be brewing Xander Bogarts is at the plate now as he looks at strike one Oh and one delivery didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high a 
Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. The one two. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that will become out number two. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The 0 1 pitch. Fouled away. Another 0 and 2 coming. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Zanino gathers it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Boston strands a couple. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready for another chance. Willie Adamas. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low one and oh. One and one the count. Two balls and a strike. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. Careful. Now, a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Good battle, count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So one away here with the bases empty. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And that's in there for strike one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowe, and he's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. Stepping in now, number 25. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Steel. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw. Is in time from Cervelli to get him. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. 
toppled high in the air out to right field. And Ben Intendi's got it to end the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they lead it 3 0. Ball set for the start of the inning, and next, the dangerous power threat, Mitch Moreland. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 0 1 lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got him swinging in the dirt. Zanino has it. And he makes the throw to first. Moreland is retired, and there's one away. Now back. Left Digging in to try it again. Clint Frazier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Now that the second base, Michael Chavis. So here's Michael Chavis now, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. We'll check in with an average still south of 230, five homers and 17 RBIs. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Hits are now even at four apiece. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Working for the punch out and the offering. Three, two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Fly ball out toward left center field. Number 25 is there, and he'll bring this one in. Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. First offering on its way. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Fouled off. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. 
And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said there is nothing prettier than frozen rope after frozen rope, and that is exactly what he's getting right now. The data says they've hit eight line drives as a team in this one, some resulting in outs, but obviously that's a good sign for them going forward. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Hits this one hard the other way. Devers fields it cleanly. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Settling in now, Brandon Lau. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-1. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Hit hard down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. set and the 0-1. Oh and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Skied into straightaway right. Benintendi is there. Two down. So digging in now, Yandy Diaz. He drew a walk his first time up. From the stretch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Outside and a full count, three and two. 
some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field. The base hit. The throw home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. And he's safe. Here now is Mike Zanino. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. And he misses low with it, 2 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Now the 2 0 home. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Yeah, and giving up an RBI double is always painful, but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the board. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Jose Arena answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Into the box now, Jose Martinez, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. <laughs> 0 and 2, the count to Jose Martinez. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on on to the top of any number five we go it's the Rays five and the Red Sox nothing welcome back Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Leading off with the Red Sox. Thank you, Heidi. The catcher, Francisco. First pitch of the at bat. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Two and oh now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Outside and low, 3-0. and Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind 3-0 and on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. Pitch on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Okay. 
And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Stepping up to the plate, Andrew Benintendi. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Benintendi carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Now batting the third baseman, Rafael Devin. Now the Rays manager is going to take that slow walk out toward the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So the line score will show he departs after just four innings of work and you know they wanted more out of him than this as he won't even stand to be the winning pitcher here. Trevor Richards comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Outside for a ball one and one. None out runners at first and second. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Careful. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1-0. One, oh. one and one the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. And the tag gets him. But one run is in to score on the play. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play. And that's just what he does. One run scores. But you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Digging in once again, J.D. Martinez, 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now the 0-1. This is line to left. Number 25 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. 
Tampa Bay leads this one five to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and stepping up as the shortstop Willie Adamas. First pitch on its way. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate, two and one. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Here comes the three one pitch. Hey! Three ball. Two Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right side. Scooped up. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now battle. Next to battle will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, number 25. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. There to pull it in is Bradley. He does, and that'll end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're up five to one. Ready now, Mitch Moreland. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. Hits ball one. A ball and a strike. Well obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night this entire roster they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, and Moreland is set down on strikes for the first down. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. At the plate, Clint Frazier. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One for two in the ball game thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. One and one. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. And that's the second out. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1 0. -oh. 
We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. To one and two now. Now the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down five to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to battle be the first baseman, G Man Choi. G Man Choi. And the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Now here's the pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So striding in, Brandon Lau, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here comes the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Digging in, Hunter Renfro. Hunter. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Two out, nobody on. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two seamer has a mind of its own. And he has a cut at that one, but misses two and one. Now the pitch. Whoa, that's Yandy Diaz would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1 0 home misses ball two. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Too high and it's three and oh.
swinging for the fences and just gets a piece of that one now three and one. Full count now three and two. Good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Another one sent foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four. And that's back to back walks now with two away. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Sanino. A hit and two tries for him so far. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Two down, runners at first and second. Boy, right down the middle for strike two. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head. And I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Devers shading to his right. He's got it. And that'll get him out of the jam. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. New inning set to get underway. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Called strike two. That's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Zanino gathers it, and the throw is there to record the first down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and that'll bring up the right-handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. First pitch of the at bat. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. Back up the middle. Adama scoops it up. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping up now, Andrew Benintendi. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 on its way. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Oh, 
pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down here 5-1. to one. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to second, and that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. No balls and a strike to count. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone. So a two run shot to left center. Eighth home run on the season for him as it's now a six run ball game. So that was the third home run for these guys today. D roll some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on and this looks like one of those games. Yeah well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Austin Meadows will stand in here but before he does let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And the pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Count is 1 and 2 now. Base is empty here with nobody out. Well hit to right. But a foul ball. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time. And he draws even a two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And this is strike three called says Clyde Washington. Might have looked a bit low but that's out number one. Number 25. So now to the plate number 25. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Now a curveball misses inside. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. To short. Bogarts has it. And there's out number two. Now with the plate, G-Man Choi. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. A 
One ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Two out, nobody on. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. Seven complete here tonight, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Now to the plate, Rafael Devers. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Pitch on the way. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. The 0 1 on its way. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. And this one is gone, a home run. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts, number 14 on the season, and it's a 7-2 game now. I know all home runs count the same, but that one went a little bit farther than most. That's what he does. A power hitter with a challenge fastball is going to go a long way when he's on his game. Now the Red Sox DH, J.D. Martinez, 0 for 3 to this point. He had not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2 2. Drilled right back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands now inside that. the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Again, another foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Strike. 
off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. Now That's back. three times he's gone down on strikes win. in this one. Win. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Oliver Drake takes Good. over here with the runner at first and now two gone in the, in the inning. Number 47. Oliver Drake. Blake now Clint Frazier as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1 in his career against this pitcher not a big sample size 0 for 1 a runner on first with two away and he falls behind 0 and 2. From the belt kicks and deals in the dirt here good job there as the count goes to one and two got him swinging on the splitter that time and with that the side is retired Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X man Xander Bogarts. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Rays seven and the Red Sox two. Ryan Brazier will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Brandon Lau. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And gone. An absolute bomb. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him as it's now a six run ball game. Renfro and it's fouled away. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. 
He blew it right by him there. Now the 0-2 pitch. Got him. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. No balls in one strike. The 0 1. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. So here's Mike Zunino. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Rays tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Last chance now coming up for the Red Sox and this is now an eight to two ball game. So striding forward now Michael Chavis he's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now here's the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A one pitch on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Number 25 is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now that the seventh fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First delivery to him on the way. And this one's nowhere close as it bounces to the plate for ball one. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. One out, nobody on. Very high, two and one. This is drilled, but right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Now batting. Next up for the Red Sox, Francisco Cervelli. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 delivery. 
taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight and now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet strike three good night Boston yeah and they just keep on keeping on got a nice little run going here winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence success is never guaranteed in this game so you have to appreciate it when it comes eight to two tonight's final Tampa Bay hosted a three run first to propel them to the win Trevor Richards earns the victory in relief in this one his seventh of the year Nate Valdi couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.